What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video over here on Fade Cloud Skyblock. Now I believe this is the third episode of our playthrough over here on map 34. And if you guys want to come check out the server, make sure you do so by using my IP zap.fadecloud.com. It'll be up towards the top of the screen for a minute. But if you don't know, this is Java and Bedrock compatible. So you can play on both versions of Minecraft, which is pretty freaking cool. Okay, so today I have a few things I want to go over and a lot of interesting things because we made ourselves a big purchase i'll throw the clip up on the screen basically i grinded a little bit of coins earlier and i spent 160 million coins on a mining cube so yeah i have this cube tower and today we are going to be taking a look at this and that's why i have the omni tool pickaxe out okay so quick interruption this is a post video i forgot to pick the giveaway winner and i also forgot to say that today well, we're doing a giveaway in this video. So congratulations to the person on the screen for winning 1,000 clouds from the previous giveaway. And if you want to enter this video's giveaway, which we are doing a 1,000 clouds giveaway, which is equivalent to 10 real life dollars, make sure you do go ahead. You have to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and comment your in-game name down below. All right, back to the video. Okay, but first things first, how to get the cube tower. The only way to get it is from the EXP shop and there's a small chance for it to be in here every about six hours this shop rotates through so in this case in four hours 51 minutes this next shop will rotate through and if this mining cube tower is here it'll cost 10 million exp but basically i asked in the chat and somebody bought an extra one and then i ended up buying it for 160 million coins so that was actually a pretty good deal but if you take a look here we can place this guy down like that it makes this cool building animation and yeah this is literally what we do we can mine these ores and that's pretty much that let me turn my block sounds up a little bit but basically today i want to try seeing how good this is for coins because if you don't know in the first video i made this nether wart farm and then in the second episode we made this a mob farm and then now we're finally going to test out the cube tower so honestly i just have to hope that this is probably the best way because if it wasn't it probably was just you know a waste of time actually doing this but from what it looks like so far farming and grinding are about equivalent in the amount of coins you get now over here on the omni tool pickaxe enchantments we can of course get fortune efficiency haste speed but then there's coin miner which has a chance to find a large amount of coins and that's pretty much the same thing as both coin greed on the sword and the hoe now i want to be able to instant mine these so we're gonna buy a max level haste and a max level efficiency wait okay hold on 10 levels of efficiency should be fine yeah okay we can still instant mine with this but as you can see literally you just mine all these blocks and then it'll reset and you just keep doing this over and wait where'd they go okay there they are but yeah you just keep doing this over and over now the cool thing is too is you can upgrade this so if we click on the cube itself here are all the different drops and we can sell them for money but in the cube upgrades this is where we can upgrade the storage the ores and the size now honestly i don't know if upgrading the size is that good because from what it looks like you have to just mine the entire cube for it to reset actually i guess we can test this will this reset Okay, so never mind. Yeah, so I guess getting the cube upgrade will be worth it. At first, I was thinking it only reset when, of course, you fully mined out the cube. And if I do recall, this will cost us EXP to upgrade it. So we can upgrade to size 2 for 250,000 XP. I think I'll just do this for now. And then I do want to head over to the ores upgrade. And oh, wow. Okay, so this one's already a level 3 ore. I guess it was already leveled up a little bit when I bought it. So we can get ores level 4. Oh, we already have level 4 unlocked. I need 2.5 million EXP to get the or is five okay so this is definitely very interesting now uh, i want to figure out what is the best way to mine this because if i go inside of it it'll just teleport wait i'm under it this actually could be the best way to farm it you just keep getting teleported under it and you just spin around mining it okay this is awesome that i just figured that out now i don't need speed i don't care about that we have enough efficiency and haste i could get fortune but i just don't care about money right now i just want coins oh and also the cool thing about this is that 
we can actually gain more exp from mining and i think it's the best way to gain exp so we'll look into this later but for now max out coin that just got me 209 levels and now we have a 0.5 percent chance for this to activate so i'm gonna go ahead and mine for about 60 seconds and we'll give you an update on how many coins we got okay wow 850,000 coins that is actually not as bad as i thought it would be considering we have a super low level of that coin enchantment now something i did discover while doing this quick little session of mining is that this does not reset as fast as you can break it and i think we should upgrade it one more level so i'm gonna have to actually sell this and pick it up because i don't want it to break my grinder but we can replace it there and once this entire thing builds which dude this animation is just so freaking cool and i will upgrade it one more size which will cost me a million xp but now we should be able to infinitely farm this hopefully okay but taking a look here we have a 0.5 percent activation chance now i can upgrade 14 levels and that puts it at a 0.5 okay so it literally just increased to basically nothing that is actually pretty bad i'm also just gonna put my last little bit of coins into the exp minor enchantment but the amount of coins i got is pretty comparable to everything else so far and i mean if we take a look over here on the sword we have a 1.91 percent chance to get coin greed and the reason i think this is way better is because i can probably mine 20 to 30 blocks per second and only kill a few mobs every second kind of similar with farming the only issue with farming is that our level is so low that we don't actually get that many coins but if it was the same level of what our grinder one was we'd probably get like three to four million every 60 seconds all right anyways i'm gonna plop here in the middle and i'm gonna do another very quick like 60 seconds maybe two minutes of grinding and we'll see how many coins we can get okay so firstly a couple things here uh dude we have 105,000 experience we got from that that little bit of leveling up that upgrade got us so much exp but we did only get 578,000 coins but that really wasn't the most efficient minute ever because literally my pet is getting in the way and blocking me so is there a way to disable them i don't think there's a way to disable them like actually showing here maybe slash like pets toggle yeah there's just no way to actually uh disable those so if we do go ahead and let's say upgrade one level on this look how little the increase this is like a 0.001 percent increase if we spend this which is honestly god awful and kind of the same thing with the coins it is so low and we need to get this up into the thousands but the cool thing is by the way i'm just opening up my m cube thing and maybe we get oh yes coins not terrible but honestly i think what we need to do is just mine for probably 10 to 15 minutes i'm not going to obviously have it on camera because that's really boring but i'll mine for like 10 to 15 ish minutes and we should have a good amount of coins and a good amount of exp which then we can maybe upgrade the ores on this i don't know what do you guys think is like the best way i mean if you are playing fade cloud already what is the best way to actually mine this is it like this maybe if i do increase the size one more it'll be a little bit wider and then i can kind of mine it a little bit easier like this like i don't know what the best method is to actually mine the blocks on this all right so yeah i've been mining for i would say about the past 10 ish minutes i don't know exactly and i'm sitting over here at 22 million coins 2.3 million exp so we gained a little over a million exp which is nice but the coins has not been so good we could have gotten like 50 to 60 million coins from grinding in that little session we probably should have just grinded some chickens to get coins but you know we also got the exp which i do want to upgrade the size again and by the way every so often i have been selling all of my loot because it gets full very very quickly i would get a better storage size i just don't really want to waste my exp on it just yet now for the size upgrade i realized that it literally costs 10 million exp that is just ridiculous and the next ores upgrade will cost me 2.5 million exp but i just don't feel like this is worth it i'd rather just save for a bigger size and the only thing upgrading the different ores do is literally give me more money so i just don't know if i should do that or just save it but we can upgrade a little bit more coin miner this will get me 169 levels which if we actually check we are currently at a 0.511% activation chance and maxing this out now puts us at a 0.52% activation chance so definitely a very very small increase right now the omni tool is at level 7 I really would like to get the key miner enchantment even if we just get one level once we get to level 50 because then we will get a little bit of extra cray keys but dude these cray keys are actually pretty freaking good I mean even if we get like let's say 10 of them every hour we can still pull an extra few million coins or a little bit extra exp or maybe even 
a better crate key that will give us even better rewards. Unfortunately, they don't really do key alls during the weekdays though, so I'm out of key alls until next weekend. Now that I did upgrade that enchantment though, I want to do one last 60 second mining session and I want to see if we can maybe get like a record breaking amount of money per second. Wow, that was actually one of the worst ones I've had in the last 60 seconds. We got 717,000 coins and only 63,000 EXP. I've usually been getting about 100,000 minimum EXP per minute. I think what I'm going to do now, though, is let me check the IS upgrades. Yeah, so upgrading this coin booster isn't really going to be worth it. 100 million is just way too much. Oh, right. Okay, so the EXP boosting, this is something we should upgrade. Money booster and mob drops, we could do that, but I was looking for the spawner upgrade and even if we could get one of these then we can buy some more chicken spawners because the current issue or the only issue i have is because like these aren't infinite we kill them so fast that we can't infinitely grind but what i'll do is save up to 10 million coins buy that spawners upgrade then buy more chicken spawners and grind this for a little while which will then allow me to get coins a lot quicker and then i can put that all into my pickaxe omni tool all right so let's open up the is upgrades and let's purchase this spawner wait so this boosted it by 100x which means that i can then have 150 in each oh dang it so every chicken spawner cost me 1 million money and i just need to make some money um what is the best way to make money can we coin flip is there any gambling let's see if i can maybe sell one of these iron golem spawners or you know what i'll ask in the chat if anybody wants to trade some iron golem spawners for chicken spawners one iron golem spawner costs 250 million so this is 750 million right here anybody want to buy three iron golem spawners for super super cheap okay this person wants to buy it we do slash ah okay it's actually awk hand and then we do 250 one two three one two three and then we do money that guy's getting a really good deal because he's getting basically two free iron golem spawners but i just desperately need this money oh yeah that's right the auction house is slightly delayed so it'll be bought soon and there we freaking go 250 million million money now let's just max freaking upgrade every single one of these boom oh wait okay so it actually didn't increase it by 100 it only increased it by 50 that's still not bad though 400 chicken spawners and by the way the reason we can have this you can only have a maximum stack of well in our case it's only 100 per chunk but we made our grinder in between four different chunks which kind of broke the system so then we can have four different types of spawners if i did have one more i would show you that if i tried placing it it literally just wouldn't work okay now so let's go over here and continue the grind session against chickens okay i just realized that my recording was accidentally paused but i just did the is upgrade for exp booster and i got it up to level four which gives me a 0.25x boost on exp i was going to maybe do coins but that'll cost me 50 million and i need to save some of my coins to level up the omni tool so let's max upgrade that and right now we currently have a 0.547 percent chance for coin miner now something i still definitely need to take a look into is is the slash armor and i just need to get some coins armor now i don't know how to even get these shards and i feel like it's through the axe enchantments but i honestly don't really know let me ask in the chat where do you even get armor shards oh wait in slash armor no way i'm this stupid if you type slash armor and you can hover over it you can see what mobs give what shards oh right here so polar bears give coin armor guardians give money shards and exp you get it from blaze and then to get skill armor you get these from zoglin so the whole strategy that we need to do in probably next video is try saving up and getting polar bear spawners which polar bears are the most expensive and they are 500 million money each that is a little crazy anyways i want to do one more quick little session of mining with the pickaxe and i want to see how many coins we can get in the next 60 seconds hopefully this coin upgrade will pay off and maybe this new exp exp boost island upgrade will get me a lot more exp wow okay so i just got 1.6 million coins in that last 60 seconds and what i got an even lower amount of exp that literally gave me only 42,000 experience i was getting a hundred thousand plus almost every single time even before i got that upgrade my rng must be pretty bad anyways this was us finally trying out this mining cube and now i understand and know how to get exp because from before i was only getting my exp from 
from Krakies, and I think a little bit from Killing Chickens. I'm gonna go ahead and ask some of the top players on the server though the best way to grind this out because I just need to figure out the most efficient way to do it. And hopefully in the next video, we can end up getting this thing pretty crazy and maybe get polar bear spawners because we just need those. I need to get this coin armor. I'm just desperate for coins. Anyways, that is going to wrap up the video. Thank you for watching. And if you do want to come try out the server, make sure you do connect with zap.fadeclaw.com. And anyways, I will see you all later.